forest. Please heed my words and accept my blessings. May your spring of wondrous magic never run dry. And may all who call you their home lead happy, fulfilling lives. Matches the scenery of the forest perfectly. I was so surprised when it suddenly opened up like that. Just like a pop up book. <sighs> I, I remember now. I remember everything. It was me. I was the one who went to the top of Constellation Metropole and witnessed the goddess's prophecy. The hero who shall save this world will descend upon the Cliff of Prophecy. The hero, supported by their companions, shall restore peace to this world. So the prophecy really did have all the answers, you just forgot the first half! That's why I was waiting near the Cliff of Prophecy. <laughs> wonderful, simply wonderful. There's still some hope left for old Armand after all. Is the Cliff of Prophecy that place with the huge mural? Cause that is where we woke up, but we don't remember anything about how we got there. Also, we didn't get a change of clothes like Nilu. Are we definitely the heroes? If not you, then who else? Uh, you, you've already helped the fairy revitalize our forest. To us, that makes you heroes. Prophesized or not. All right. Either way, we're going to keep adventuring, even if it's just to figure out how we can get back to our world. Yep, that's exactly right. Helping people we meet on the road is kind of our thing. As expected, the words of the goddess of prophecy always come true. I'll come with you. It can't hurt to have a magical fairy tag along, right? Heroes and fairies, dragons and new adventures. <laughs> this is sounding more and more like a fairy tale by the second. Hmm. I would say your next stop should be Constellation Metropole. It's Simi Lanka's most prosperous city, uh, just across the sea. Once you've arrived at the Astral Garden at the highest point in the city, uh, maybe you can try seeking divine counsel from the Goddess of Prophecy herself. Are you leaving, Fairy Nilu? I'm afraid so. There are still other people who need my help. I won't go far, though, and I'll come back to visit the minute I have time to spare. So be a good girl, Putty Sara. And help out Grandpa Alma whenever you can, all right? Mm-hmm. Got it. Patty Sara will wait here for you. <laughs> That's a good girl, Patty Sara. Ah, I almost forgot. 
If Constellation Metropole is where you're heading, you'll need to take the Maritime Express. I'll head to the station first thing tomorrow morning and wake up that lazy station master for you. Why don't you take a break for the rest of the day? You should savor the beautiful scenery of the forest before you go. Sounds great! Paimon definitely feels tired after being on the go for so long. There's a spot in the tavern with Paimon's name on it. Oh, sounds like someone's ready to order. Oh, well, if you're offering, Paimon will take a glass of Buell fruit tonic. Um, but hold the tonic. <laughs> Teach Potty Sara how to dance? Oh, of course! How about we start off with the most basic steps? Okay. What about you, Grandpa Almond? Would you like to join? <laughs> this old nutcracker? Uh, I'm not quite as limber as I used to be. Come on, Grandpa Almond! Join us! All right, all right. Grandpa can't say no to you, can he? 